This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain a drama, horror, and sci-fi film called Extinction. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Due to a viral outbreak, a convoy of buses evacuates people from cities to take them to a quarantine zone called Harmony. The convoy suddenly stops before reaching the gate, so a soldier gets off a bus to investigate. After a few minutes, an officer who stayed behind tries to communicate with the soldier, but he gets no response. He decides to follow him, but soon after he steps out, the soldier emerges and bites him on the neck. The rabid soldier gets inside the bus, so Jack and Patrick immediately push him out. When the infected soldier disappears, Jack decides to get out to grab a gun from the dead officer. As Jack tries to take the firearm, the dead soldier suddenly comes back to life and attacks him. Jack manages to shoot the zombie, but he sees more infected soldiers approaching, so he hides under the bus while Patrick tries to close the door. The people inside the bus start to panic and attempt to get off the bus through the back. Zombies soon enter the bus through the door and the windows, biting everyone they can grab. Patrick attempts to get to his wife, Emma, but gets pushed off the bus when a zombie lunges at him. Patrick bashes the zombie's head against the bus until it falls dead. Not far, Emma clutches her baby while staying hidden from the zombies. She gets inside a jeep, thinking it's safe, but a zombie soon emerges and grabs her. As she tries to fight off the infected man, another zombie appears and attempts to break the windshield to get to her. Fortunately, Jack arrives and kills the zombies. Emma is distraught when she sees the blood on her baby but Jack and Patrick don't see any wounds on the infant. They soon discover that the blood comes from Emma, who was bitten in her arm. Nine years later, Patrick wanders the desolate, freezing city to hunt for food. After shooting down a horse, he loads the carcass into a snowmobile and takes it back to his house in Harmony. Lou watches Patrick from the window in the house next door and tells Jack that he killed another animal. As Patrick cooks the horse meat next door, Jack opens a can of beans and finds mold inside. Luckily, he finds another uncontaminated can. That evening, Patrick tries to communicate with other survivors through the radio, but no one responds, so he just talks to himself, pretending that he has a guest. Later, he uses his binoculars to watch Jack put Lou to bed and says goodnight, wishing that she could hear him. When Jack wakes up in the morning, he immediately looks for Lou in her bed only to find that she's no longer there. He immediately goes to the kitchen and scolds the child for going downstairs without telling him. As Lou attempts to prepare breakfast, she explains that she didn't want to wake him, but Jack contends that there are rules she has to follow. When Jack gives her a cookie, Lou hides it in her pocket and asks for another one. Next door, Patrick wakes up to the sound of his barking dog, so he opens the door to let it out. Lou approaches the dog at the fence and feeds it with a cookie. When the dog runs to another part of the fence, Lou discovers that it managed to dig a hole that would allow it to get through. Later that day, Jack trains Lou to multiply without counting with her fingers. Afterward, he goes outside the house to shoot empty cans while Lou plays with her dolls. Lou asks him if she could try shooting, but he refuses to let the child hold the gun. Lou complains that she's too old to be playing with dolls, so she asks Jack to play with her. As he enjoys his time with Lou, Jack sees Patrick returning from a supply run, but he doesn't greet him. That night, Jack gives Lou a gift box containing her mother's belongings, so she asks him what's the occasion. Before he could tell her, Lou hears the birthday song playing on Patrick's PA system and surmises that it's her birthday. Patrick has baked a cake for Lou, but he can't take it to her due to his feud with Jack, so he lets the dog eat it. Meanwhile, Lou asks Jack how birthday parties were held before the outbreak. Jack notes that there were other children at the parties, but Lou doubts him because she's never seen other kids in her life. Lou notes that she can't even recall seeing her mom, so Jack points out that she just can't remember because she was too young. Lou then asks him if the zombies really exist, so Jack explains that they once did but they died from the cold. Lou manages to sleep soundly later that night, but Jack stays up due to the loud music playing over Patrick's speakers. Later on, Lou wakes up from a nightmare. 
When she hears the dog barking, she looks out the window and sees a pale zombie outside the fence. In the morning, Jack finds Lou hiding under the bed and refuses to come out. When he joins her, Lou discloses that she saw a monster the previous night. Jack thinks she just had a nightmare, but Lou explains that she saw the zombie after waking up. Jack still doesn't believe Lou and assures her that all the zombies died due to the cold weather. Later that day, Lou puts a stuffed toy by the hole on the fence, hoping that it would prevent monsters from getting inside. When Patrick sees Lou by the fence, he figures out that she must be the one giving cookies to his dog, so he warns her that his pet could get sick. Jack suddenly runs out of the house and tells Patrick to get away from Lou and avoid talking to her. He then threatens to shoot his dog if it keeps barking, so Patrick tells it to keep quiet. While raiding a warehouse for supplies, Patrick recalls when he was there with Emma. When he made a lot of noise, Emma got nervous and told him to be quiet because the zombies would catch them. In response, Patrick asked her if she'd said the same thing to Jack when she cheated on him. Patrick sees a doll that Lou might like, so he grabs it from the shelf. As he continues to search the warehouse, he finds an animal's bloody remains on the floor. Moments later, a growling zombie appears and chases him, so he and the dog quickly run out of the warehouse. As soon as they both get out, Patrick pulls down the door and locks it, leaving the zombie inside. As Patrick starts his snowmobile, the zombie slams itself against the door in an attempt to get out. On his way home, Patrick constantly looks behind him to see if the zombie is following him. While driving at full speed, Patrick crashes after failing to see a fallen tree ahead of him. Meanwhile, Jack decides to teach Lou how to fire a gun. When Lou shoots, she gets knocked down by the recoil, but she tells Jack that she had fun doing it. The zombie soon catches up to Patrick while he's still lying on the ground. However, the zombie doesn't perceive him because it appears to be blind. The zombie runs off after hearing a gunshot in the distance, so Patrick immediately gets on the snowmobile to chase the creature. Back at the house, Jack sees a hare outside the fence, so he attempts to shoot it. Before he could fire at it, he hears a gunshot and sees Patrick approaching. After telling Jack to run back to the house, Patrick runs over the zombie with a snowmobile, but he falls off. As Patrick attempts to reach for his weapon, the zombie lunges at him. Lou tells Jack to shoot the monster, but Jack tells her to get inside the house and lock the gate. As Patrick struggles to avoid getting bitten, Jack aims his firearm at the zombie, but he hesitates to shoot. Soon, the zombie overpowers Patrick and bites him in the neck. The dog attacks the zombie, but the monstrous creature subdues the dog and gnaws on its neck. The zombie runs away when Patrick grabs the gun and shoots it. Jack runs back to the house, only to learn that Lou is mad at him for not shooting the zombie before it killed the dog. Back outside, Patrick weeps for his dog and scolds him for trying to be a hero. When he gets home, he pours alcohol on his wound and attempts to shoot himself. He fails and drops to the ground after remembering when Emma urged him to hack off her bitten hand while Jack held her down. When Patrick regains consciousness, he hears someone trying to communicate through the radio. Patrick soon responds and warns the man that the zombies are back. He notes that he is infected because he was bitten earlier that morning, but the man notes that he might not be turning into a zombie because too much time has already passed. Patrick vows to go out to kill the zombie, but another voice interrupts and contends that the creature wasn't responsible for what happened to him. The voice then points out that his neighbor should have helped him. The following day, Jack boards up the house, expecting Patrick to turn into a zombie. However, Lou points out that Patrick didn't get infected and scolds Jack for not believing her when she told him about the monster she saw the other night. Jack tries to pacify her by giving her two cookies, but Lou reveals that the other one was supposed to be for the dog. Lou then tells him that she wants to pick flowers for her mom outside without having to ask permission, but Jack points out that it's not possible since the zombies are back. When Jack goes out to pick some flowers, he comes across a doll on the ground and realizes that Patrick picked it up for Lou. That day, the voice on the radio starts urging Patrick to kill Jack. When Patrick refuses, the voice berates him for feeling bad for Jack while allowing Emma to die. That night, Jack returns and tells Lou that he only found artificial flowers. Lou puts half of the flowers in front of her mom's pictures. Then, she goes outside with a revolver 
and crawls through the hole on the fence to put the other half on the dog's grave. Jack immediately goes outside when he sees her heading to the grave. While Lou is inserting the flowers through the fence, a zombie approaches her. Lou tries to shoot the creature, but it swats the gun from her hands. Jack tackles the zombie and beats it with his fists. When he stops, the zombie tears at his chest with its claw, so Jack continues beating up the zombie until it stops moving. As Jack tends to Lou, Patrick comes out and points a gun in his direction, but he fires it at the zombie behind Jack. That night, Jack doesn't find Lou in bed, so he goes outside the house to look for her. A zombie suddenly lunges at him, but it's chained to the ground, and its arms have been cut off. Patrick emerges and discloses that the zombies seem to be evolving because they conceal their wounds and have hard skin to resist the cold. However, Patrick notes that they have a fighting chance because the zombies are no longer infectious and they've become blind. When Lou comes out of Patrick's house, Jack immediately takes her home. Later, Lou contacts Patrick through the walkie-talkie and invites him to have dinner with them the next night, so Patrick gladly tells her that he will come. Patrick immediately shaves his beard and cuts off his hair to prepare for the dinner. The next night, Patrick comes over, bringing meat for Jack and Lou. Jack gives back the doll to Patrick so that he can give it to Lou himself. When Lou comes down, she's surprised to see how different Patrick looks without his beard and long hair. During the meal, Lou plays with a laughing doll and asks Patrick how he knew she wanted that kind of toy. Patrick notes that he just figured she might like it because he also liked it when he was a kid. When Patrick tells her what he used to do as a child, Lou remarks that he's lucky because he got to play with other kids and laments that she can only play with dolls. After Lou falls asleep, Patrick discloses that he plans on fixing the truck so they can leave, but Jack intends to stay despite Patrick's warning that more zombies will come. Patrick asserts that Jack has been too focused on surviving that he's forgotten how to live. Jack responds by asking Patrick why he hasn't left so Patrick looks at Lou to hint that he's staying for her. After Patrick goes home, Jack sits beside Lou and recalls Emma's death. That day, he found Patrick at home getting drunk on the floor while the baby was crying in the crib. When Patrick asked about Emma, Jack hit him in the head in anger and told him that he'd killed her. Jack then proceeded to take the baby and told Patrick that he was no longer Lou's father. That night, Lou wakes up from a nightmare Jack thinks that she dreamt about monsters, but Lou reveals that Jack died in her dream and she was left alone. The next morning, Jack and Lou decide to leave home and go with Patrick. The trio soon drives away from Harmony and stops by the warehouse to get some supplies. As Patrick sets foot outside the truck, he remembers the day he left Emma alone outside the warehouse to get drunk because he was jealous of Jack. As Emma cried inside the truck, zombies arrived and attacked her. After getting some supplies, the trio heads back to the truck, but they see a woman in the distance. When Patrick approaches her, the woman gets hysterical, so he subdues her until she calms down. Instead of continuing their journey, the three take the woman back home. When the woman wakes up that evening, she tells the trio that she and her family shut themselves in their house during the outbreak. After a year, they decided to head north and lived with other survivors. The woman reveals that she met a guy and got pregnant, but the man never had the chance to know that he'd become a father. She recounts that they joined a convoy to get to a valley, but everyone died in a zombie attack except for her. The woman suddenly hears the chained zombie howling, so she takes a revolver and runs outside to shoot it. She then warns Patrick that it's their way of calling out to each other. Not long, they hear other zombies howling in the distance so they immediately board up the house and load their firearms. When the zombies arrive, Jack puts Lou in the basement and tells her to avoid making a sound. As Lou walks around, she encounters a zombie, but she avoids detection by staying quiet. Soon, other creatures start breaking into the house. A zombie goes after Jack upstairs, so he flees into a room, but he drops his gun while struggling to keep the creature out. In the basement, Lou puts her doll inside a trunk and drops a lantern on it to make it emit a sound. The creature jumps into the trunk because of the noise, so Lou immediately shuts the trunk and locks the zombie inside. When Jack sees another zombie trying to get in through the window, he grabs his gun and shoots the creature by the door. He attempts to shoot the other creature, but he runs out of ammo, 
so he stays quiet to avoid capturing its attention. As Patrick fights off a zombie downstairs, the woman plays loud music to overwhelm the creature's acute hearing. Lou soon gets out of the basement and tells Patrick that there's a monster down there, so Patrick tells her to stay in the room where he keeps his radio. As Patrick and the others deal with the zombies, Lou hears a woman trying to communicate with them. When the generator runs out of fuel, the music stops and the group learns that they don't have enough ammo. Lou notes that the woman on the radio advised her to go to Spring Falls before the power went out. As the creatures start tearing through the house, Patrick tells Jack that he will lure the zombies away to let them escape. After kissing Lou goodbye, he lights a flare and takes Jack's shotgun. As soon as he gets outside, Patrick shoots the zombies in his way while calling the attention of the other creatures. When Jack and the others reach the truck, Patrick runs toward the barrels of gasoline. As the monster attacks him, Patrick lights up the gasoline flowing out of the barrel, killing himself and the zombies in the explosion. After getting out of harmony, Jack, Lou, and the woman stop by the roadside to look at the sunrise. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.